M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM IC7610, and I do believe the settings will be the same for the 9700 as well, as we are using a LAN cable in the back of this device. In the ICOM 705, you can do it via Wi-Fi, so, so that's probably the better way to do it, and I've done a separate video on that. So as you can see, SDR control by Marcus Roskosch. Now this is just the the uh, you know the phone version the mobile phone version which I think is the best value but it doesn't have the best features and you can actually it d does actually work on my on my iPad and I'll test that out in a separate video so just to show you now it's working look there you go like so we can PTT we've got the tuner here it's all ooh. <laughs> Uh, it's quite sensitive. It's working great, you know, it's, it is a very good app and we can listen via the actual phone. And when I was in the other room just now, I could hear it on the phone, just the volume up and down. You've got settings here. Volume. You just scroll through. The best thing is just to tinker with it, really. Tap the screen, it takes you out. Now you've got this nice window here, if you go to this one here, look, FT8. And I, I tapped FT8, and it just did it. It's, it's come out of it now. Choose your region, so let's say we do 20 meters. Hold your finger on R, and then it just puts you there. And I haven't actually used it, but tap where you, I think where you want to begin. At the moment it says CQM 0 fxb Let's check we've got an antenna on that. <laughs> Always helps, doesn't it? Antenna two. Um, and then the power should be low. And then I think you just click CQ. And it starts to do it. You're like waiting there. Waiting for its time. But I don't really want to do it now. There's your TX button. Do we hold it? But for now, we'll just go back. I just want to show you how to actually connect this up. So, on the device, if we go disconnect, okay. Now I put, I've used the 705 as well. Let's just zoom in a bit closer, and then we'll show you the settings on the on the radio as well. So, if we go to the 7610 and click Edit, like so. Instead of connecting, we'll go Edit. We've got, I've given it the title 7610. How do I know the IP address? Because there's an Ethernet cable in my computer and I checked my, I have my broadband router and I looked for the IP address of, of, the, of the ICOM and it is coming up with the uh, 192.168.0.109 because it's the only wired connection I actually have. I'll show you it. There it is there as an unknown connection, but it's the only wired one I have. Download this program, it's called Angry IP, it's quite clever, and it will search your, your network and find it for you. But just remember that whatever, say, the, this 7610 is connected to uh, my network in my house, and it's called Mercury, okay? And this mobile phone is on a Wi-Fi, it's also connected to Mercury. Does that make sense? You have to be on the same network or it won't work. Although I did see someone using this on 4G, and I don't know how they did that, maybe they... They did port, you know, their, their mobile network. But anyway, so I haven't changed the port. That's, that stayed the same. Now, the username and password, I did set that as M0FXB, and then I've got my own password. I haven't told it to auto-connect, but you can if you want. And that's all I, all I did there. So if, before we connect, we just back out completely. We'll move my phone out of the way. And as far as I can see, this is a iOS system it works on your it does work on a Mac and it works on a, a you know a Apple tablet and your iPhone no problem at all and my settings here menu set and you do reboot after you've changed anything go to network here and we just start at the top I didn't have to change much the actual IP address which is this one was already there see the next one down I haven't touched that one, um, so 109, remember 109, and that's a wired connection. I didn't change any of these at all. Network name, yeah, I've given it that. 
network control after restart on I haven't changed any of these now network user I did change that I went into network user number one ID I tapped it and I set the username so I'll just go back again and show you that again so if we go back network network then we're going to scroll right from the top all the way down till we get to network user and remember this is for the 970 is what 9700 as well it was fantastic radio as well uh m then you set the password on user one and i did put network administrator you get a choice i did set it to yes and that's all i did it what there wasn't much to do so that's why i'm quite pleased about this so let's grab the phone again download the app pay for the app i think it's about 30 pound for the mobile phone app oh god i don't want to stop breaking things by the way i've got one of these quite like it i don't know how often i'll actually use it but it allows you to uh to change thing I'll, I'll plug it in anyway i don't think it'll plug into the actual phone but it'll plug into the the computer i'll do that in a minute first things first so we go to the app uh, and just to show out of interest what my icon 705 settings are I'm just going to go edit because I'm going to show you that afterwards. So again, it's just a different IP address, but everything else is the same. All it is on your 705, you're just turning on the access point. So, okay, so we'll go to 76 zone, we'll hit connect and it just works. It's literally that once you've got your settings right, it just works. Now, I'm not really sure why it says USB there. Oh, of course, upper sideband. <laughs> uh, silly me. Right, okay. Sorry about that. So, there's your your modes, all modes. 20 meters. Let's go to 80. So, you can see it works. And we've got this big sort of knob here that we're scrolling. We've got the frequency showing at the moment. Okay. And you can change the step, whereas I saw that here. Step. Or you can actually type it. Did you see that? Well, I tap, tap something and it allowed me to actually type it. There it is there. You tap the frequency. And it lets me to type. Um, hold down step and then choose a step. And look. I don't know. If you're sat away from the radio, if you're in another room, and you can, you can actually set the, the speaker and the microphone to be your phone or the radio. It's up to you or both, I believe. Your filter menu, changing your filters. I wonder if I can hold my finger on there. Just wondering if you get that nice filter menu. Antenna selection. Yeah, you go down here by the looks of it. No, not sure that changed. There you are. Okay, and then you've got the receive antennas, AGC as well. RF gain, attenuation, noise blanker. And the whole point of this is that you can do this anywhere in the world. You don't actually have to be, there's your power, in your house. I'm going by a local connection, you know, a local connection. But you can be anywhere in the world as long as you know the IP address of your house. And you also have the power running to your 7610, 9700, 705. And the other radio it says it covers is the ICR8600. That must be a receiver. And now it, they, they've worked out that you can do the ICOM 7300 via USB. And I'm guessing that you could probably do it via USB on, um, on any of these devices. I'll have to learn how that's done by USB, but everything's possible. Uh, what else? We've got a PTT. We saw that. So an unptt log you can do a log close fast forward fast back let's go back to the ft8 window we can just tap it and um, yeah again it's not something i've actually used let's come out of that back now, do you see that map at the top? Let's tap map. This is going to be like grid tracker, isn't it? So we'll zoom in to where we are. 
And I, I th I, I th I'm pretty sure that when it's all active, you see all the grid tracker things. Tools, let's tap tools. You've got, look at all these tools. Band plan, okay. CW, DX cluster, tap start button. Okay, it's your DX cluster, settings and stop as well. Poter, PSK reporter. I have to go. Um, I haven't really done much transmitting, so I don't think much will come up. Depends how far back it goes. Yeah, I thought so. I haven't really done much transmitting recently. Enable pin buttons. What's that? I actually don't know what that is. Logbook. Not working. Network status. What have I done now? Okay, there you go. Don't remember putting anything in a logbook. Call sign lookup. Um, zero. There you go. There I am. Got QRZ. Oh, I need to put my username and password in, but you get the idea. Memories and scanning. Oh, straight into the scanning me menu. Cool. Oh, it's a fantastic radio, isn't it? FT8, tools, settings there, more settings. Let's go back to the beginning. How do we get back? Swipe up, no. There you go, so VFO mode, and then you've got waterfall. Go back to the band. We need to go to VFO. Like so, choose the band that we want. Is it here? There you go, 40. And then we want LSB. Move up to where there's some activity and get the right antenna on. We can tap the frequency if we want, change the step. RF gain needs setting, doesn't it? And we can do that using this device. So I think that's enough for now, I think you've got the idea. And then we can just disconnect. Not connected now, back to the radio. Of course, yeah, I've got some settings to put in there. So thanks for watching my channel and uh, with the tablet version you're going to get a lot more functionality i'll show you a screenshot that's the sort of tablet version the proper tablet version then you've got mac as well and i've seen some videos on the mac one and the mac one does look very very nice it does cost more you'll find that this all updates automatically you know i just turn my ipad on and it's loading up the update now yeah that's all loaded and there's there's some you know, some bugs and some improvements as well that have been sorted out by Marcus. And you'll see that I've just logged into my iPad and it's already got and knows about my 7610, so I shouldn't have to change anything. I should just be able to connect. Like so. I, and there you are, straight away, I'm connected, as you can see. And this is still just the i you know the the mobile phone version, but it, you still get the iPad will still work. But you just don't get the, you know so many of the functions. But you can still it's completely usable. You can set the microphone. You've got all the all the tools I showed you. Different modes FT8. You can sit there and play FT8 all day long, and you don't even have to be in your shack. So I think that's enough for now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks to Marcus. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. 7-3, all the best. Bye for now.